So first, let's download rsync for one. Let's go to this website, itfix.net and rsync. And what we are going to download is the, this one. I already downloaded it. Just download it. To download it, it just, um, it just unzip it and you will be greeted with this folder with this files inside. Well, without this file, because this file is key, um, SH key file that I will um, share with you what it does and how to get this and all the other things, the files that are, that would, uh, that would just there. And what we need to do is to put our rsync command inside this file and then run this command line file. So after opening file, what we'll see is something like this. So basically the line with this thing at the at the front means that it's just a command, it doesn't execute it. So what we need is to add our rsync command and all the others can leave it intact. And by default, there are two commands that were there. First is just to show the version of the rsync and another, another one is to show uh, the version of SSH. And you can delete that or add an REM uh, in front to make a command. Anyway, this is our command that we want to do. So I want to synchronize um, the file in D. This means that the, the path starts from the drive D drive. And again, this stands for the C drive. You have to write it like this. You cannot write like C colon or something. Otherwise, it will fail. Command. And this basically means that well, I want to perceive the a permission and also using verbose and whatever. Uh, and basically, every time you want to synchronize files or backup files, always like this thing. So don't to think too much about it. <laughs> yeah, so this is the arguments that we want to give our sync. And dash E means that we want to use a specific SSH uh, command for that. And the thing we want to synchronize the file is in C drive and blah, 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 it's the path to the file. And this is the folder vocalized learning that we want to synchronize. And our destination is at this IP address. And we want to uh, synchronize the file to this specific address in on this machine, the remote machine. So you can see that it's a hassle structure. This is where the, the blog posts will be before generating uh, the static HTML, of course. And this is the username for logging to this machine. And what you see here, this thing is the SSH credentials and it's set up so to me i use port 242 for the ssh and dash i means that where the key is so here you can see this means d drive da, 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 that this is where the keys is so use these keys to authenticate rsync itself and synchronize this particular drive uh, this particular folder into this particular machine on the this particular uh, path use and this is the user for for the ssh and this is basically the rsync file that we want to use so after doing that we we'll just save this file save that save that and close it and now we want to open our command line to see whether this actually works or not. This is where we want to see Victor. And this is basically the file that we just add our man in and we want to exit. So to do that, we just type CW and command and execute it. Give it some time and it's being successfully synced. And now this is in, this is my remote machine. Um, you can see uh, here, uh, the source dash bar post underscore posts is where it's being synced, and this file it's being synced here on the remote. Now let's go back to our local D command line here. What we what we're gonna do is that the command now work, and we want what we want to do is we want to run this command periodically after uh, every five minutes, just like Chrome job on a Linux machine. And on Windows, we have something called schedule te text. And the command that we're gonna run is this. And uh, this command, you can see, uh, this is a schedule test command. We want to create, and uh, that is, we want to create a uh, a uh, schedule test. And SC means that we want the repeated um, time period to be minute and MO5. So it will run this command every five minutes. So this is the command that we are interested in. And let just hit enter. And you can see it's being successfully created. 
but one thing needs to be um, taken care of is that don't use any non-English um, uh, characters during the path of that rsync um, command. Otherwise, you will you will you will fail. So now, in order to do that, we need to go to here and type pass pass scheduler and click on that. It will open this window. And so the uh, top left test uh, scheduler library. If you click that, there are a lot of different tests that is already there. It was created by various programs and applications on this computer. And you can see this is the tasks that we just uh, that I just created. And uh, during this test scheduler, we can use the GOI on the right hand side panel. There's a create test here on the right hand side panel. It's a create test. We we'll just click on it, and then you will be greeted with uh, with this panel. Uh, there's a name, description, and also when to trigger it. And what is the actions being taken and convictions all that 